right, you guys, I hope you are all liking the workout so far. Um, we are in workout number three now. Uh, we are going to start off right away. So I don't leave you hanging here. We're gonna do a bent over back fly. You're gonna grab your dumbbells. Knees are slightly bent. You're gonna be fully parallel to the ground so your core is always tight. What you're gonna do is your palms are gonna face each other and as you bring the dumbbells out wide, pinkies are out. So you're coming up, squeezing your back. You want a slight bend in your elbow. Coming all the way up. Squeezing your back. You can go lighter with this if you can't get it all the way up. It's okay to drop the weight. I want you to make sure that your form is perfect. Remember to breathe out. Core is always tight. That's a back fly. Next with this one, you can go a little bit heavier. We're going to do a suitcase squat. So feet are shoulder width apart. You're not going to be in a super wide squat. Just shoulder width apart. Arms are nice and relaxed at your side. Just like you're picking up two suitcases, you're squatting down, back up. So you want to keep the dumbbells right where your feet are. You're just going down as low as you can. If you don't have the range of motion, it's okay to go down slightly. I just want you to get the form down. Make sure you're breathing out. Core's always tight. I don't want you folding over. Your chest is nice and upright. And that's a suitcase squat. Next, you're gonna go back to the lighter weights. Again, you're gonna be slightly bent over, knees bent, core's always tight. You're gonna do a low row to a kickback for your tricep. So elbows come in, kicking back for your tricep. Nice and controlled. I don't want you swinging the thing back. I want it to be controlled. So if you need to go lighter, go lighter. I would rather you have to do the exercise correctly and hitting the right muscle groups than trying to swing the dumbbells around to get it up. Next, what you're gonna do, you're gonna hold the dumbbell at your chest you're gonna sit back into a squat. As you're at the bottom, you're gonna come up halfway, back up. Halfway, this is two, back up. Three, nice and controlled. I don't want you going and bouncing around. I want you to feel your muscle, always controlled. Next, you're going to do a push-up with a pike-up. So you're going to be in a plank. You're going to do a push-up. You're going to go right into pike-up. Hips are in the air. If you can do a push-up, go on your knees. Then go to your feet. Pike-up. Push-up. Remember, core is always tight. Breathing out, take your time. And then the last one, you're gonna do a bridge. So you're gonna have your band above your knee. What you're gonna do Feet are always shoulder width apart. You're gonna start with your knees in. You're gonna pulse out, and then you're gonna do the bridge. Pulse out, bridge. Pulse out, bridge. So you're doing the pulse out while you're still on the ground. And then you're going up into the bridge. Knees are out. There's always tension in the band when you go up. Squeeze your butt at the top. And breathe out.
And that's it for this workout. Remember, like I always say, challenge yourself. Get that weight up. Use a heavier band if you have it. Whatever it is, just challenge yourself. It's only going to make you better. Have a great day.